Hey guys, Moana Bear here and today I'm going to share with you how you value a business or how you decide on the multiples that you pay for a business. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Moana Bear and I've been in different businesses over the last 10 years. Right now we're looking to sell some of the businesses in our portfolio, to raise some capital. We're also working on a few roll-ups in different industries um, and I'm here to share and document my journey and share with you what works for me, what works for my clients who are buying one to two to three businesses in less than a year, some of them. And if you want to learn more about that, that, see the links in the description below below this video we're going to put a link to the training on that so this is what this channel is all about today specifically i want to answer a question on someone who saw in some of my other videos that we're basically usually paying a multiples of profits for a business and he didn't understand how do you specifically decide on the multiples of profits and in a nutshell just to give you the simple answer in the end of the day a business is worth what someone is willing to pay for it and if you're going out there and negotiating with a business owner and you're able to build rapport and really able to show him that you're the best option for his business because you're the safe pair of hand, because you're going to take care of his employees, his brand, his, uh, I guess, track record, then he might give you a better price than someone else who's just maybe a big competitor who might come in and destroy the brand, who going to fire employees, etc., etc. So in a nutshell, I mean, business is worth what someone is willing to pay for it. And when you go out there and look for business uh, broker sites, for example, and see a broker is telling you, hey, you need to pay eight times multiples for this uh, construction business. And you know, in reality, that those are not the prices or those are not the acquisitions that other companies out there are by companies in that sector, then just don't accept that. I mean, in the end of the day, you need to understand in the US, for example, most businesses are being sold for one or two times multiples of profits i'm talking about like the normal boring industries right so why on earth would you pay seven times multiples you need to understand the agenda of those business brokers is many times just to make a retainer a flat free retainer from the business seller from the business owner that's looking to sell the business and that's why he's promising those businesses premium prices um they're, they're basically promising that they have buyers to pay premium for those businesses. But you as a potential buyer, you don't need to accept those payments. You don't need to accept those terms. I mean, that's, that's the answer in a nutshell. I mean, there are many, many different ways to value a business. Like, like I said, multiples of profits, balance sheet method, discounted cash flows, all those different, uh, I guess, details, understanding of how to value a business. But I'm telling you, as someone who's also talked to many big companies head of M&As who are basically going out there and buy billions of dollars worth of companies they're telling you as well like they will do those calculations but in the end of the day they want to make sure that the deal makes sense in terms of financing in terms of being able to cover debt service so in the end of the day it's all about people you're working with people if you're able to convince or show the other person that it's a win-win deal for both of you guys, then the price doesn't matter. It's not, I mean, you, you can buy a business for one times multiples if you're able to show the seller that there's a way for him to earn on the back end. You can sometimes pay $1 down for a profitable business if there's a way for you to add value on the other, on the back end. So I wouldn't, don't think that understanding all those small details and calculations is super important. It is to understand what's going on, but in the end of the day, we're working with people and if you know how to work with people and you have the right strategies on what questions to ask how to find the right businesses then you'll be able to be successful at this space um, so i hope that makes sense i hope that answered that questions if you want to learn more about like a to z process and how the process works on how some of my clients are buying one two three businesses in less than a year how they use other people money to buy those businesses and how they they then able to step back and have other people run the day-to-day -day for them see the links below this video for free training i'm hosting and yeah other than that subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet and comment below and let me know um, kind of like your thoughts your questions and I'm, i promise i'll get back to you so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon